Hello, welcome back. And this video, you're going to see uh, what is the uh, what you can do after MD forensic medicine. Do you think uh, MD forensic medicine is an end subject? And those who are taking it will take some LLB or MBA in sideways and get some more degrees into it. That's the end of it. Or you can be an assistant surgeon, uh, police uh, in police, or you can teaching. Uh, you can take a teaching so profession or something. Do you think this is the end thing? No. You are totally wrong. Forensic medicine is a highly potential subject where you can take that into the next level and you can go to the peak of it. But how? I will tell you two things. One is recently the government of India and NMC, National Medical Council, have introduced a subject which is called as forensic radiology, that means virtual autopsy, autopsy. So, in that, the entire system of postmortem examination will change. You must know that there is so much of a uh, mistakes happening in for in in in, in uh, postmortem examination. Something is sub very subjective to uh, things uh, due to some pressure from various places. But if you take your like the body in a virtual autopsy, nothing can change. It. Even court cannot change the result because uh, the thing is totally into objective, and we can give supportive evidence. And the most important, we don't need to do a re-examination or the exhumation or the re-postmortem thing. Because you, everything is in a, uh, everything is recorded and everything having a supportive evidence in that. All right. So what is virtual autopsy? I will tell you in detail. Virtual autopsy is a thing that is a, is a new, very new to um, uh, forensic medicine, especially in India. Uh, 2000 after COVID, uh, the AIMS New Delhi has started this uh, new thing, and they already completed 3,500 cases so far. But uh, the thing is that uh, how they do, why they do, I'll tell you in detail. The first thing they have to do on the external examination, they will use some scanner. The, some, there is a machine there, they will scan the entire body and they will find out the, all the injuries, all the contusions. So whatever thing we can get it and they will measure it, they will do it. Um, uh, all the examination part and all and take also the picture is also they will take. And then it will send it to a CT machine or an X-ray machine or MRI or USD machine, whatever uh, thing we need to do, depending on the body, depending on the case. And after the result, after they will take the result of it and they will use that uh, to find out the cause of death. Okay, and then that will uh, all together. There is a software there. They will use it. They will uh, give the uh, end result, and you can give to the police station. That's it. In real, this is the uh, new um, method of doing it. And you may have the question that how we do in um, poisonous cases and all. Okay, I will tell you in detail uh, in about that uh, scenario. You need to understand that. And I was there. I was thinking about a ceiling with uh, three, four robotic hands, in which we can do uh, robotic surgery with minimum in minimum uh, minimum uh, incision. We can take the samples from anywhere in the body. It doesn't matter for the CSF. It's not uh, matter to uh, gastric content or the uh, intestinal content. Or you can take a half of kidney. It's a quite an easy, you can just take take a small incision at the lower side and take out the kidney or spleen or uh, liver, uh, uh, some uh, uh, bits for uh, uh, liver, you can take it. It's not an issue for uh, issue up there. So in future of uh, forensic medicine is totally going to uh, hand in hand with uh, the technology and AI and everything. So it's going to be huge for uh, forensic medicine and its futuristic uh, uh, what uh, capabilities? So, uh, what about Kerala? What they're doing in Kerala? Uh, very honestly speaking, they are not doing even in Trivandrum or Kodikod, they are not trying. I asked to one uh, ma'am in Trivandrum, they are doing, they are saying it's so busy with doing postmortem examination, they can't do it, something like that. Because, uh, very honestly speaking, they are not interested in that. But in future, we have forced to do this thing because everyone is doing, even Ames Delhi is doing some state, uh, so start doing it. Um, so it's a time for Kerala to also introduce this kind of thing. It's very important at this point of time. Uh, this is all of what I want to tell you. And also so many other subjects are there. Uh, for DM you can take toxicology and ballistics there. And some other subjects are also emerging in this way. So that's all about it. And also not just forensic medicine. If you're taking pharmacology, if you're making patho or micro, there's a huge potential. It's going to be like uh, everything having an emerging with the technology hand in hand. Um, uh, if you see that there is some um, a new thing that is always coming into every subject and you have to focus on that you can uh, achieve a lot of things in uh, future that's all about it